Hi there, this is Chris, the chap in the cap from Moto Legends, here today to talk to you about a jacket from our French friends at Helston's. It's one of our favorite leather jackets. We've been selling it for years. We absolutely love it. It's called the Helston's Ace Vintage, sometimes known as the Helston's Ace Oldie. This is the Ace Vintage, the famous Ace Vintage from French brand Helston's. It's the most popular jacket in the range. It's been around forever. It is a hardy perennial. Bit confusing if you were to go on to Helston's website or looking on other people's websites to um, try to find one of these jackets because it comes in a number of different versions. Helston's don't make it easy. So this is a jacket that we know as the Helston's Ace Vintage. Other people call it the Ace Oldie. In fact, I think it was, that was the name when we originally took it on about four or five years ago. We didn't like the name Oldie. Um, it had uh, connotations that we weren't particularly happy with. So we changed it to Vintage. We think that's a better name. But there's another one called the, the Ace Rag, R-A-G, and you can get the Plain Ace. So they're all basically the same jacket, but they use different leathers, different treatments. But this is the one that is the most popular. It's a 1 to 1.2 millimeter thick leather. So as with many Helson's jackets, and I've made this point on a number of the other videos that I've made about Helson's jackets, they are quite heavy. These are substantial pieces. These are not going out on a sunny summer day's jackets. These are jackets that you can wear, if not all year round, you can certainly wear them early spring through into late um, autumn. One of the reasons that these jackets also feel fairly heavy is that they come, every Helson's jacket comes with a thermal liner, comes complete as standard with a back protector and that adds to the weight. You also get a waterproof membrane. I'm going to talk through all of those, but when you first put on a Helson's jacket, particularly this jacket, you put it on, it just feels a little bit heavy. It is a beautiful jacket. It's a fantastic uh, jacket. It eases up, it becomes ever more comfortable, but the initial impression with a jacket like this is it's fairly heavy. So let's start off Let's look at the leather. So as I mentioned, one to 1.2 a millimeter, but it's been waxed and oiled. That's very much Hilson's thing. They have their own secret blends. The jackets are made in North Africa. They come across, they then treat each jacket separately with different treatments. When you put a waxy treatment on, it tends to create a shinier finish that's a bit more waterproof. This has a more of an oily finish, so it makes the leather particularly soft. What they've then done here on certain areas around the seams and the pockets and so on. They've abraded it to give it a bit of a starting patina. But we know this jacket well, wear it for a year or two, and it just, it just becomes very individual. It's a fantastic jacket. Let's have a look at some of the features. Four pockets, YKK zips. Sorry, this is boring, I know, but we love a jacket, or we love a company that uses YKK zips. It means that they're bothered about quality. Cheaper brands will just put any zip in because all they need to do is get the jacket past the first 12 months warranty and then they're out of it. But when the company uses YKK, we know they're serious. You've got two internal pockets in the jacket itself. There's a liner and I'm going to come on and talk about the liner in a minute. In terms of adjustability, there's just a single stud on the collar. You've got on the waist here, you've got a Velcro adjuster. Now most Helson's jackets have a poppers, but this has a a Velcro adjuster, no reason for it. It's uh, In some ways, I suppose it makes it a little bit more adjustable than your average Helston's. This has the classic three pop arrangement. You've got a bit of a gusset there. You can get this um, a glove in underneath there and then tighten it. The third popper is a complete waste of time because that closes down the sleeve to the si about the size of a finger. It's um, impossible to use. So it's really a two popper arrangement. Can't really say why this jacket is as popular as it is. This is the jacket that attracted us to Helston's. We were bringing Helston's into the country. We've been doing it for three or four years. So back, I think in 2016, something like that. We came across the brand at the Paris motorcycle show. This was the jacket that first attracted us to Helston. There's just something about it. And I can't define that. If I knew how to pop this and produce other jackets that were as popular as, as this, I'd be a lot richer than I am now. And I'm not very rich. Um, but it's a combination of the leather, the sleeves, the color, the patination, but this is just a jacket that seems to go down incredibly well. In terms of 
protection. Obviously, you've got the 1.2 millimeter leather. That's pretty strong. You're never going to wear through that. That's as much as you're ever going to need on the road. In terms of C approvals, this is approved under the old EN13595 regulations. That's a bit of a French anomaly. The French are very annoying, as we know. They pushed for this standard and then when EN17092 wasn't happening fast enough, they said, well, that's it. We're going to come out with our own standard. So they created their own French standard. EN17092 is now out there, but the French have got a dispensation to continue using their standard for another few years yet. So what we don't know is what the standard is because there's just a pass. This is a C approved jacket, but we don't know whether it would have been A, AA or AAA under the new regulations. I've got to be fairly confident in thinking it would be at least a AA. With a leather like, like that, um, you're going to easily reach AA. Whether it would have reached AAA without some reinforcements in certain areas, I cannot say. For protection in terms of armour, you've got as I've mentioned, in every Helsons jacket, they come as standard with shoulder, elbow, and back protector. One of the reasons, as I've said, that these jackets sometimes feel a wee bit heavy because when you pick it up, it's already got the back protector in. Um, we spend a lot of time these days talking about can we upgrade a jacket? Can we put in lighter, softer, nicer D3O armor, especially with the advent of the new ghost armor for elbows and shoulders? It's beer mat thin, it's fantastic to wear. But in fact, in the case of this jacket, I don't think it's warranted at all. This is the armor that Hilston's use. It's super soft as it heats up with the body's heat, it's gonna get softer still. It meets the CE standard. There is no case for trying to upgrade the armor in this. It's already pretty comfortable. Jacket comes with a thermal liner. Every jacket in the range has a different kind of um, internal jacket. This is a standalone jacket as it were in that you can wear this, get off the bike, and as long as it's unpoppered, you could wear this jacket on the street. This kind of quilted look, I think, is fairly popular. I see a lot of people in France and in Paris wearing a jacket like, like this. So this is a jacket, what we call a destination jacket. You could wear it on its own. It's infused with aluminium. That's important. It makes for a very good quality thermal liner. You will know that after the marathon, you see people wearing aluminium blankets. That's what they do. They reflect the heat back into the body. A thermal liner does not create heat. Whatever jacket it's in, unless it's an electrically powered one, liners just maintain heat. They don't create heat. So what aluminium does, it reflects heat from the body back into the body. It works very effectively. One of the issues, however, that these liners bring is that it has a bearing on the size you buy. If you try this jacket on and it's got the thermal liner on and everything in and it fits nicely. What we know about these jackets, because we've been selling these for a long while, is that the jacket is going to give, and in a year or so's time, if on a summer's day you decide to take the thermal liner out, you're gonna have a jacket that's just too big. It'll be baggy because the leather has given, it's stretched, and then you've also got the volume that the liner would have taken. So. There is a way of buying one of these jackets. We've done it hundreds of times, and even though people don't necessarily at first um, believe us, everyone comes back and says, yes, yeah, you were right. The way to buy this jacket is to take the liner out and fit it so that it's snug. Not so tight that you can't get it up, not so tight that you can't breathe, but you get it nice and snug, a nice, comfortable, a cosseting fit, then, in six months time, it'll have loosened such that you can get the liner in, such that then when you take the liner out, it's not too big. So if you then take it out on a summer's day, it's not too big. So that's an important factor in sizing yourself up for this particular jacket. It's a lovely jacket, but it would be a shame to buy it and then find that in six months time, a year's time, it's just too big and doesn't work on you. Now, there's another version of this jacket. We've we sold this jacket for four or five years and it was our best seller. As I mentioned, it's also Helson's best seller, but we thought it could be improved upon. So if you like the look of this jacket, there is another version that's exclusive to us that we designed with Helston's that is called the Ace Legend. The same basic profile, the same concept. It's actually a slightly softer leather. Um, we have these pockets, our vents, 
Our version does not have a removable thermal liner. It has a fixed Outlast liner. Outlast is amazing stuff. It cools you down when it's hot. It warms you up when it's cool. Ours has got a slightly lower bag. If there's an issue with this jacket, and actually with a lot of Helsons jackets, it's when you sit on the bike, you lean forward, you've got your jeans. It can be very touch and go whether it goes beyond the upper line of the jeans. So our version we did with a longer back. Um, softer leather on ours, uh, a few other little bells and whistles, but if you like this look, then it might be worth investigating the Ace Legend because we think it's a slightly more wearable jacket. So that's it, that's the Ace Vintage, it's the Ace Oldie, it's whatever you, you wanna call it. It is priced at 420 pounds. It's a fantastic jacket, and over time it just gets to look nicer and nicer and nicer. So I hope you enjoyed the review. If you want to see more Hilson's gear, then visit the website motolegends.com. If you want to learn more about this particular jacket, then if you click on one of the links on the page, sometimes they're up there, sometimes down, they're down there, that will take you directly to the relevant page on our website. There you can check out the spec in a little bit more detail. You can check out availability, and obviously if you want to buy one of these, jackets, you can do that there and then. Now, when you buy from us, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on anything you buy from us. Returns are free, and what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you do want to return something to us. Our price, promise, is the best in the business. Now, John Lewis is rightly famed for their never knowingly undersold promise. We go one stage better. If you can find anything that we sell being sold by one of our competitors at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat their price by a full 10%. Now, that's for retailers in the UK. If the retailer is in the EU, we will match their landed price. There are a few terms and conditions, nothing particularly onerous, but if you are going to price beat us, then I suggest you visit the website and check out what those terms and conditions are. Now, if in the future you'd like to receive email bulletins from us about new products, then if you go to the website, at the top of every page, there's a piece of script that says newsletter sign up. Click on there, within seconds you'll be in business, you'll receive bulletins from us in future. If, however, you prefer to get your information videographically, in other words, in this form, we would be simply delighted if you wanted to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Now, this is 2020, and before the end of the year, we're going to be giving away a motorbike to a YouTube subscriber. We're calling the bike a Steve McQueen tribute bike. It's actually based on a 125cc Mutt machine. It's a lovely little cutie. You can read more about it on the front page of our website or on the home page of our YouTube channel, but you have to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be announcing the winner just before Christmas this year. Finally, I'd might like to make a play for our fabulous little shop here in Guildford. We're about a mile from the centre of Guildford, a mile from the railway station. As I've suggested, the shop itself is not huge, but it's attached to our warehouse where we have more than two million pounds worth of gear arranged over three floors. Technically, it makes us the second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the UK. But we think that we are far more than just the quantity of merchandise we have here in the building. We're all about service, we're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star rating in the business. When you come and see us, we'll sit down, we'll have a chat with you. We'll serve you only the finest Italian Illy coffee, or we'll serve you proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And if you're lucky, you might even get to taste one of Sean's mum's delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.